to welcome. Uh, my name is Justin Haynes. I manage the maker space here in the libraries. Today I'm going to be showing off one of our cool tools, um, the Axie Draw. I've done similar streams with this before, but today much more relaxed, stressful time of year on campus for students, faculty, staff. So you're going to draw some kind of cool um, objects. You're going to listen to some music. If you have questions, feel free to drop them in the chat. We'll be uh, answering those as we go along. So we're going to get this machine set up and ready to roll for our first one. This machine works with some basic motors, stepper motors, as well as servos. It's very straightforward. Um, the servo controls the pin movement going up and down, which you'll see here in just one second as we set up the machine. So. We need a little bit, a little bit more, so that we can make contact with the paper. Now obviously, you don't want to jam it down into the paper so that it messes up your pen. So I like to creep up on it. Oh. Just find that right setting. I think we're just about there. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and get our first one ready to go here. And we're off and running on our first one. This is a tool that's available in the Hill uh, Libraries Maker Space. Um, anyone that goes to our orientation, student, faculty, staff here at NC State, you're able to um, come into the space and use this. And um, we've seen everything from um, graduation cards to birthday birthday cards holiday cards all the way to, you know you did some sketches and you want to get some duplicates of them um, without having to hand draw all the rest of them you can easily scan those into a software such as uh, Inkscape which is what I'm using today it's a free um, alternative to something like Adobe Illustrator and Inkscape is what we're actually using to control um, the axi draw now, this is a fairly straightforward design that we'll be using. It's um, quite easy to, to kind of see what's going on. Um, no question, is there a theme to today's drawings? No. Um, kind of just geometric, you know, kind of geometric pleasing shapes is what we're kind of going with today. Uh, you know, in the past we've done. Um, you know, guess the celebrity or your guess the place or any of those, but um, you know, wanted people to be able to relax a little bit more today, kind of just watch the machine run, um, and then kind of see some cool structures being built with all um, line art. You know, nothing, I don't think we have any fills or anything today mostly it's just all 
your basic lawnmower. First run of the day, seeing how the machine is feeling and, uh, and running, if it's been a while since it's run or anything like that. Um, I'm using watercolor paper here right now because it's got that good texture. But you'll see maybe this pen's not the best to use with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change our point. I'm also going to change our pen. And we're going to try this again on the same paper so you can see the difference between um, you know, the pens, the paper. We're gonna do some other cool paper here in a little bit. I've got some nice bright highlighter paper that we're gonna do some designs on. Um, we've got a variety of pen colors as well. We're gonna switch over to your typical red Sharpie. Just so you can see the difference in what this you know, small um, pin looks like compared to um, what the same design would look like inside of a sharp or with a sharpie. Give me one second here. Let me make sure we don't plot directly on top of it. Definitely contrasted the, the bright colors with the kind of soothing designs. And um, this one is probably the most, you know, geometric of the ones I have. I have some other cool curved based ones later on that I think are even more pleasing to watch than, than this. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to try to make this a little bit bigger for us to see here. And we're off and running on version number two. While this is running, I'll, I'll show you a few examples of what you can do with the Axi Draw. Um, this here was done on the machine, doing the fill as well as the outline. You can also use a standard pen and outline text as well, as you can see with our, uh, our Makerspace logo. This is one from our last one of our last 
those Twitch streams that we did with the Axie Draw. We uh, did some artwork with the, the Libraries logo and the, the Twitch logo. Good question. What kind of pins work best? Um, it really depends on your your paper and kind of what you're going for. Um, your regular sharpies work great. We have a little bit. I didn't move the file quite over, and you can kind of see it going on top of it. So I'm a little bit there, but um, that'll be okay. This is you know, obviously these are just tests, and we're gonna see how they run. Um, I like sharpies. Um, Ballpoint pens don't work great from what I've found. Um, they can stick and stuff like that. So these pens, these look kind of like more felt tip pens are really good. Um, you know, not endorsing any products or anything like this, but we really enjoyed buying this 12 pack of pens um, that go down to very small points all the way up to more of like a brush style. They kind of give us some variety to play with and test. Um, some gel pens and things like that. Uh, one of my favorite ones we've done is with this white pen on the blue paper. Um, to kind of make a blueprint-esque looking design. There we go, we've completed that. So we're just gonna take a minute. I'm gonna move this up a little bit closer to the camera so you can kind of see some of um, what I'm looking at here in the studio. see some of the shape there that we're, we're going for um, this first one the lines are much, much smaller and that has nothing to do with the actual design being bigger that's solely the size of the pin that we used so you can kind of go for bigger more bold looking objects you can go for a bigger pin you can see that ripple effect and that's all the paper that we're choosing this is you know watercolor paper um, computer paper gets a much smoother finish. Um, I think that's what we're going to try now. So we're going to try one of our highlighter piece paper. And I'm just using tape to hold this down. Um, the Axi Draw does come with a, a mounting board that uses clips. However, I accidentally knocked off one of our feet from our board, so it's a little wobbly. So um, I'm just the table's nice and flat and it works fine. So for what we're doing today, this would be fine. The table also has no texture, so like that's not affecting the drawing of it, of it all. Just kidding. Let me take a moment. Let me set up our next drawing for us.
Okay, so I think this one is a uh, it's a much more elaborate design. It will take a little bit longer. Um, give me one second. I'm gonna actually switch out. Um, we were using a .8 pin before, which is rather big for our you know for our array of pins that we have. We're gonna go down here to a .2, <laughs> and I'll show you the difference. Hopefully, this will be able to pick it up on camera. Um, it's the size of the tip there. Let me hold it over. The... It's not focusing super well, but uh, the point eight um, tip is you know four times the size of the our point two tip there. Um, and what these are? These are outline drawing markers. Um, they're made for for people that are hand drawing, you know, very, a variety of, of uh, objects, people, that sort of thing. Um, you see them a lot in like comic book drawing and things like that. So every time we change our pin, we do have to reset our Um, our setup instructions because every time I can't you know I'm not able to put that in perfect every time so but I do have a good understanding and actually I got it pretty well that time so this one's a little bit longer so sit back we'll uh, enjoy this together Oh, went off the paper. So, you know, this happens from time to time. I get ahead of myself and think I have it set up correctly, and I, I didn't, so. This is another reason, typically, we would be using our um, our mounting board underneath of it, but failure is always an option. Remember that. That'll come. Leave. One second, let me see if I can figure out why that happened there. Mythbusters and the failure is always an option. That is a very popular um, Adam Savage was one of the co-hosts of Mythbusters and um, probably one of one of the people I've looked up to in my maker journey. Um, but yeah, that is that was indeed one of the phrases that have came out of that. I try to share with you know people in the maker space or any, anywhere like that. Like 
you're going to fail at some point, but what you what you do after that failure, um, changes, you know, that really spells out what happens next. Let me... Take two, let's try this again, see if I figured out my issue. It's always a possibility that hey, it messes up again and we move on to the next one and we'll come back to this one once I do some troubleshooting. But let's find out. There's only one way to find out. And that's to go for it. So. So it looks like it's working a little bit better. Ooh, I cut it close.
That is one of the, the, the pleasing things about watching the Axe Draw run is, you know, not knowing exactly what order it's going to do. So even I, who knows what it looks like, it's going to look like at the end, watching it do the different order makes it just as entertaining.
Thanks for joining us, Pinky Stardust. Hope you're enjoying uh, watching the Axie Troll whiz and whirl around. Man versus machine debate. Um, faster, a person maybe, but more accurately, it would be hard to beat the axi draw. It would be fun to watch. Uh, one of the things I want to do is we have a this is a newer version of the Axie Draw. We have their first version they came out with. Um, I would love to be able to hack that to um, mirror the movements as someone else draws on a tablet. It would draw in real time uh, alongside the human. That one just finished up. I'll bring it up to the top so you can kind of see it. Uh, we do have a request. I'll, I'll, while, I'm, while the next one's running, I will uh, try to find one of those so that we can we can draw it. Um, just take a little bit of prep to set up the SVG file, so the scalable vector graphic file that we're using. Um, Shout out to all people that have made these for us to be able to use online. Let's see if we can get that to show up. So you got some different arches and um, hexagon pads and things like that. Very. Um, Dr. Octopus looking feel of the arches. So, set that right over here to the side. Uh, my mess of pins. One thing, once you uh, start doing the axi draw, you accumulate a lot of different pins and pencils that you, you want to you know, keep doing, so. load up our next one 
gonna switch over to some nice funky highlighter yellow. Type of writing utensil in the next video. Pretty much any type of um, writing utensil. Um, they have some some different attachments so that you can do even like uh, calligraphy pens or um, things like that. Um, everything I've done, I've done markers, I've done pencils, I've done pens, I've done um, the company that makes this actually has a sister product called the watercolor bot um, which paints in watercolor how many of these supplies are available for use in the maker space all of them um, we have all these in the maker space inside a kit um, and we even have a step-by-step -step guide on exactly how to use um, the the axi draw so you can come in with no experience, um, come into the space, be able to, um, you know, after taking our safety orientation, um, you'll be able to get access and come in and use them um, free of charge. So, let me get this next one set up for us here. There is a size limitation for the writing utensil that you put in here. Uh -huh. yeah. That screw that um, is holding the pin in can only be extended so much. So um, that is one of the, the limiting factors. Sometimes with certain pens, you can kind of see um, certain, you know, ballpoint gel pens, um, they don't have enough force uh, behind them. So we have to um, you know, make some innovative adjustments, such as hot gluing pieces of metal to the cap so that when we put the cap on the, the bottom of the pen, or the top in this instance, it weighs it down enough to uh, actually make pressure. And luckily our servo is strong enough to, to hold that up for us. So I'm gonna test this setup. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna do it for this one. I'm gonna switch to our bright purple. I think this purple on yellow will look pretty good. So we see. See you later to the point two. Put in our purple. And what I'm talking about with that screw there is obviously um, you know, this can only go out so much, and, and there's this gap here. Um, the largest object I've been able to fit in that is actually a whiteboard marker, and I was able to lay a whiteboard down on its side and use the axi draw. Um, with, with a whiteboard marker, so that was that was a fun one. I think I'm gonna have to lower this down a bit. So an easy way of going about this is when it's in its lowered state, lower it onto the paper. Go. 
And fingers crossed this works. Uh, first shot. Let's see. And we'll see, as soon as you think you know what this is, go ahead and uh, you know, pop it in the chat what you think this object might be. Closer than what you might think with that second guess. One side. What I was just looking for was 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 just a tree, but um, I'm not sure the, the top. But what you've noticed or may not have noticed about this this design, um, the pin's not lifted a single time. This has all been one one line. So very interesting. Um, kind of see that it, you know, it is indeed one line. Um, it was able to, um, let's see if we can find, you know, there's the end point. And I think we started, hmm, I cannot find the starting point. So single line artwork is something that's very popular, um, especially when, when using the Axie Draw. Because it is, I mean, especially for me, it's, it's very satisfying to watch um, the pin go down and then not come back up to, uh, until it's complete. Indeed, one single line. Let me see if we can get close, if at all. There we go. Okay, let's see. Mm. 
Now that I know my camera will behave with me, the last one we can did, you can see that a little more clearly up oh, this close. The, the pin that I used for that, which is, you know, just our typical you know, paper make flare pin, you know, um, is one of my favorite ones to use just because it comes in a variety of colors, but also um, the line weight is just, it's that perfect line weight for most of the stuff that I do. And obviously we could find that line weight out and use other pins of that line weight, but for me it's easy to, to grab a pin off the shelf and, uh, run with it. I'm still working on the other design that we uh, had offered up in chat so we will uh, I have some I have a lot of these pre-built designs that uh, I'm working off of so let me get this next one ready to run. This is a different type of artwork that you'll see run with the Axie Draw, but another popular uh, design style. Um, you know, we've, we've done the single line, we've d we're doing this one, which is using just a bunch of straight lines to um, produce like a crosshatch artwork. In the past, we used squiggle artwork using a variety of different lines to, um, and frequencies. So, you can kind of see there. Well, let me take it out of my, my page protector here. We keep this in that same ActiDraw kit so you can just see, and most of these will go in this kit, um, in this binder so you can kind of see all the different things. Uh, you can see the those are made up of just individual little squiggle lines and the frequency would increase whenever it's at an area that needs to uh, be darker so have I ever done a self portrait <laughs> indeed I have um, I have done a self portrait if we run out of time today I uh, run out of designs and we still have time. Maybe I can, uh, that's how I'll do a, a, a face reveal for, for the stream here. Is I'll use our squiggle drawer to produce it. But yeah, that, that, the, there's a web based software where we're able to uh, use a webcam or upload a photo and do that pretty easily.
What's funny for me on this design in particular is I have no idea where in the design it's at. If it's near the top or the bottom or, um, or, or where it's at, so. This is probably going to be a longer one. It is um, almost a full sheet, so sit back, watch it run, and uh, I'm going to keep working on our files here so we have something else to, to, uh, to draw next. So if you can kind of start to see how how this uh, this drawing works here again, this it, it will really kind of reveal what what it is. So once you kind of have a guess, throw it out there, and we can uh, we'll see. If you, if anyone guessed it right now, I would be um, quite surprised. So 
So if you're just joining us, I see we have a few, few new people at um, Vlog Mall. Um, they, you know, showing off some of more Axie Draw artwork that we we're, we're doing here. Listening to music, hanging out, um, relaxing during a, a stressful time for, for campus here as finals are wrapping up um, you know, right here before our winter break. So some of the things we've, we've done today our arches that look like our Dr. Rock arms, our single line uh, tree. It also kind of looks like a brain, but um, it's showing off some of the other things we've done in the past as well. Uh, Randy Woodson, uh, that's, that's, a, that's a stretch guess. Um, it's not Randy Watson. Sure, some of the sounds that um, this machine makes, and um, if, if figure out a song for those to go into. I think it would be really, really fun. Maybe I'll get some of our uh, our digital media uh, student librarians and students to uh, help make that possible. What's it drawing now? That's a, that's a little bit of a surprise. So what I will say is it's using um, you know just straight horizontal lines and it's slowly building out um, building out the drawing. Um, if I told you what it was drawing, you would take away some of the, the mystique mystery behind um, what is this thing? So. You will, you'll have to uh, stick around or pop back in and um, see the reveal. Santa Claus. So our two guesses so far have been Randy Woodson and, and Santa Claus. I guess earlier when I said straight uh, horizontal lines, I, I more technically mean um, straight lines. It's using solely um, you know, straight lines to, to produce this art. So what you're seeing here is a little bit of some cross hatching. get a slightly darker area. With the, going back to the two guesses, Randy Woodson and Santa Claus, I, I will say you you are in the right realm of guesses as in it is a, a person. Ranch. I see um, that guest come in. Um, that might be playing off of the, the Santa Claus guest that also came in. But, um, is the Grinch a person? That's a good question. That's uh, 
it's a, a bigger debate, I would guess, so. This is definitely gonna be our longest um, drawing of the day. Well, I think the Grinch is a person. Now, I know Rudolph is not a person, though, so they didn't meet criteria number one. Funny um, that you bring up Tom Holland. We were actually originally going to do the squiggle person drawing like we did last time, where you uh, we did the squiggles from top to bottom, and you always tried to guess who it was. And Tom Holland was one of the ones that I had um, chosen for that. So funny that you mention it.
Definitely knows knows my interests, and um, I think it's playing playing towards that a little bit. So. Um, so, for that reason, no, I did not choose any of um, from Harry Potter. Technically, this is the drawing board, but this is the drawing board. side of the, the page now. There's a lot more cross hatching in this design than what I originally uh, thought there were. So now's a good time to Get up and stretch your legs for a few minutes. Or send that email you've been procrastinating on, or you know, go get a drink. We might be here for a while. We'll pose a question though. That way, if um, you, you are just curious, of, you know, you're just watching. What's something that you would draw with the axe you draw? You've kind of seen a few examples. You, we, you see, we can do text. What are some ideas of things that you might might use this for? Thank you. 
Yourself a self portrait, your cat, and a really hard and itty bitty maze. I do have a maze um, file, and then at the end it goes back and solves it. Um, obviously, it's just a, a, a drawing, so it doesn't really solve the maze, it already knows the solution, but. Um, that is one of the files that we do have in our folder here uh, for the Axie Draw. The self portrait? Are you talking the self portrait such as like the squiggle cam drawing? Or something like this with the, uh, the hatches and the fills? maze one is fun. It's very similar to the tree that we did. I'm not sure if you were here, Claire, when we did, we did the tree, but um, what's cool about this tree, it's almost the exact opposite of the one it's doing now, where it's a bunch of lines. This is actually one single line, so um, once it put the pin down, um, it did not pick it up again until it was completely done with the drawing, which is really cool and super satisfying to watch. Um, if you didn't see it during the stream, once the stream gets posted back up on the, the, the web page, um, I encourage you to go back and kind of watch that clip there of the tree being made. And then I'm going to see if I can find where it started. You could, it, it could uh, use the tree as a mage, as a maze, sorry. Um, can you solve the tree? I was able to find where it started. I'm gonna 
higher drawing here for a second. Maybe it'll be a big progress jump once we come back. Um, so. That's where the main, or that's where the tree ended. Right. right there you can see the end. And it began. Oh, I lost it. Oh. Right here at the stem. is um, you know, up, up to date on all the current current things. Tom Holland, Pete Davidson, all the holiday theme guesses. It, it, it's less... So when I say it is a, a human, it's not a particular person, I will say. Missed it. I'm, I'm uh, still still working on it. This uh, this one's going a lot longer than what we uh, anticipated. Till, till about two o'clock, so hopefully we'll be able to get it in um, once this one's done. If not, it'll definitely be uh, on our next Axie Draw Twitch stream. Thank <laughs> you. 
foot thrower. I can see that. I can see that that being uh yes. You don't, you don't have to keep them secret. I think our mod just, you know, wanted to keep keep the game going. But definitely, if you're watching and guessing, feel free to throw out a guess. Or you can, you know, if you uh, think you know it, but you don't want to quite throw the guess out. I believe you have access to just chat me directly and we can... It does have to do with a round object. Have it. C 
secrets out. And the astronaut. Congrats everyone for, for, for figuring it out. Yeah. That was a fun that was a fun one. We don't know who's inside the suit. That's a very good point. We should look up and see if uh Anyone with the name Nick um, was one of the new 10 astronauts that NASA just got. Indeed, the cross hatching is what takes a, a, a long time. Um, for those of you that were here with the tree, you saw that only took a few, a few seconds. I mean, I'm probably a couple, couple minutes. This has been going for a while now, and um, we're just now getting to the point where we can kind of see the shape of, of the astronaut. Up here, there's still um, up here, there's still some cross hatching that needs to be done, uh, but the rest of it. Um, there's there's a couple shadows that need to be done um, at the glove and leg area. There is a little bit of color um, between the lines. Are you talking all the shaking? Yes, yeah, the shaking for sure um, makes it look a little bit like it's moving. Um, same colored marker. We've been using this purple marker um, the whole time. I do, there are some markers out there that I do want to experiment with, and some pins that change color over time. And um, I don't know if anyone else remembers. Does anyone else remember the pin? You can just click the different colors on the top. I really want one of those for the Axi Draw, so I can really quickly change colors. Okay, you do remember them. Perfect. I was making sure I wasn't, you know, the, the only one that thought those were the coolest things ever. You had one with the classic red, blue, green, black. And then the next thing I remember seeing was like ones that had like six colors on them and ended up significantly larger. Oh, the, the issue 
with pencils I found out um, just keeping them sharp enough while they while I'm running a longer one with them. Um, if there was if there was a way to keep them them sharp. I have used some pencils in the past um, that work out pretty well for things, but I typically stick to the pins and sharpies to make sure I don't really have that problem. seeing you know the finished product on my screen versus the uh, the other piece on the paper and it doesn't look like there's that much left but it definitely does take longer than anticipated so and this this goes to show that sometimes the axi draw is not you know this is cool this is uh you know, but if you wanted to make a bunch of these you might uh figure out a different way. I think it's pretty clear now that we see that we can see the astronaut, so motors and a servo to raise and lower the pin. Um, pretty straightforward. This is our larger format one. They can do up to 11 by 17 inch paper. So much larger than what we're doing today, but um, they do have some that get their, their standard size is eight and a half by 11. US letter. Thank you. 
torn right now. I really want to see this one finished. But I also want to do some other things and see, you know, kind of show off the, the tool a little bit more. So. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you all. Last thing, people in chat here. Do we do we end the astronaut early and move on to the last one? Um, with our last you know 12 minutes, 10 minutes we have here, or do we do we see the astronaut out and, and see it to the end? Something new. That's what I saw first. Let's do it. One of the weird things about this machine is sometimes to stop it, you just have to pull the plug. So, there we go. Still very cool. Maybe I'll, uh, take some time later on and, and finish it up but you can definitely still see the astronaut there you can even see the the, ref, the things in his visor reflection came out very well so all right let's get this loaded up we're gonna switch back over to our um our orange sheet go it does look very different um, close rather than far from far away it looks very solid and um, when you when you look at it close you can see from what I'm seeing on the screen across the room compared to what I'm seeing in person with my eyes it's very different still so there you go I think that middle section there really kind of shows the difference between close and far. That was a really fun one. That, um, that one definitely, that might not go in the binder, that might go in my desk. That one was a fun one in, indeed. So, last one here. Load it up. would help me run the file if uh, the machine was plugged up. Thank you. 
let me change our camera battery real quick. Sorry about that. We almost made it the whole way. Sorry about this.
sorry that you didn't get to see a lot of that, that drawing happening, but um, yeah, the finished product still turned out quite well. And you get to see a little bit here of the end. From what I saw of it while I was trying to fix the camera, it, it, it was very satisfying to watch. So um, maybe the next Axie Draw stream will uh, have a few of these. It is sometimes weird that Axie Draw chooses to not fill in that whole section. Instead, it wants to go and do all of the same size all the way around, but also not in a circle. So interesting. Here you get to see some of the same thing that you saw earlier with the uh and next time maybe I'll set up a second camera a little bit closer and we can swap back and forth so you can kind of see some up close details as well. For some reason it is going over some of those areas twice, so it's actually so you're kind of seeing the same movement even without seeing it drawn um, on top of it. or details I'm waiting on it to uh, complete before we wrap up so I know we're, we're technically over our, our run time but um, we'll, we'll definitely see this one this one through the end so there's one more that we kind of kept um, this, this one took the place though so we'll definitely have it for next time as well is anyone else seeing it almost looks like Certain areas of this design have like a uh, greenish color. Is that just me? Okay. Do you see the green spots too? Perfect. Because the color is weird. I don't know if it's the purple pin with certain lines being so close to each other, it makes it appear, make it appear green. Um, it's indeed interesting.
I would love to be able to find out if I can get one of these um, mandalas with the single line artwork, both combined. I think that'd be a really interesting one to watch. Move the camera just a little bit, just so you can kind of see some of the up close detail here. Oh. Sorry, I bumped it. Really fun day of trying out the Axie Draw once again. All the different things that we were able to do, um, whether it was our uh, first one of the day with our cubes. Our Dr. Ock arches. There we go, you guys see this? One of the most satisfying ones of the day. Our single line art tree. Make your own coloring pages. You definitely could make your own coloring pages. Um, probably my favorite of the day, and the one that took definitely the longest, is our astronaut guessing that we did. And lastly, our mandala that we did at the very end. There we go. That, you can really see it there now. So, thanks everybody for sticking with me in the last two hours. I had a blast. Um, and hopefully, we will be doing some more Axie Draw stuff soon. But in the meantime, 
be on the lookout for the, on, the, on this Twitch channel so you can see all the other cool stuff my friends and colleagues throughout the library um, are doing. So with that, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all next time.